I don't normally get letters for Ask Paul, but once in a while I do. And I apologize to those of you that have written in. I mean, thousands of people have written in to Ask Paul, and I wish I could get to all your questions. I really do. If I had a team of people, I mean, we have 4,000, 5,000 questions right now. And the proper thing to do would be to hire a staff and have them personally answer each question. Then I'll pick some of them out and we'll do them on YouTube. But hey, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't have a staff. It's just me. Anyway, I thought this was kind of cool. This is from Brandon. And Brandon writes, hey, Paul. Thanks for the videos. While I don't agree with everything you say, <laughs> Brandon, nobody, had, uh, I mean, good. Um, it helps me with my own ideas about developing a high-res system that works for me. So, I expect to receive your snake award for the following question. With some modern DACs providing upsampling as well as standalone samplers becoming more popular, like the Chord Hugo M Scaler, is there a need for source digital music files to be greater than 44.1? I, I recently acquired a name audio DAC, which upsamples files to 16 uh, times to 705 kilohertz, depending on the sampling input. And I'm also planning on getting a direct stream DAC, which, as you know, upsamples and then converts to DSD. If there are dedicated upsamplers and upsampling DACs, why should I care about acquiring high resolution files? Well, you know, we get asked that question a lot, and I wish there was a really clear answer. Let me try and explain it. This, well, the quick answer is yes, we can do better if we start with higher sample rate files. And that gets back to the original capture file, okay? Now most studios using Pro Tools and whatever digital audio workstations that they have typically go at about 96 kilohertz. That's, I mean, it used to be 48 kilohertz, but that's now doubled. So I, I'm going to tell you today, just about everybody and their brother and cousin are using 96 kilohertz to do the original capture. It's just the way things are done, right? And with 96 kilohertz, we have fairly gentle filters. We don't have to uh, whack off the audio coming in at 22 kilohertz. I mean, with 44.1, you can't have anything over 22 kilohertz or you get aliasing, and, and which is artifacts, distortion artifacts, and you don't want those, okay? Just take my word for it. So in order to do that, we have to seriously slice off with a filter anything above 22 kilohertz, and that's really extreme. And you hear that. You just do. Strict filters like that are not good in the audio chain. We'd much rather have it out at something quite a bit higher, okay? So let's call it 44. Let's call it 48 kilohertz, something like that. And, and as I say, the standard is 96 kilohertz. So with that being the standard, think about what's happening. When we make a 44.1 file that we put onto a CD, we're taking something that was originally recorded at 96 kilohertz, and we are downsampling it to 44.1. Not the greatest practice. Wouldn't we be better off having it at 96 kilohertz, at least what it was recorded at? And I think that's going to be part of the answer to this question, because it's all about the initial capture. Like at Octave Records, we start everything in DSD, and, and we're working on a whole new Sonoma-based system that will be at 2x DSD, which is... Oh gosh, 1x one, one DSD is what, 5 megahertz? And I think it's 11, I don't remember. But anyway, it's twice what we've been doing. And that initial capture is critical. So anything we do to it afterwards, if we leave it alone, we're probably okay. Upsample it, eh, I, I really question the benefits of it. We do it in 
the DAC for very different reasons, which I don't have time in this video to talk about. And maybe that's something we should talk about at some point. And we probably will. But so my quick answer is I don't see a lot of advantage in upsampling just to upsample unless it's part of your DAC and the way that you do it. And then it's fine. But 441 is still so limited, especially when you're downsampling from where you started at 96 kilohertz. Okay. Thanks for the question. Thanks for the letter. I love it. Talk to you later.